Okay, this is a uh, broken finger method, uh, and uh, what I'm doing here is uh, I got the Ray de la Tour on the uh, Ramirez, and I'm going to go more into the rest stroke. I got the capo on the fourth fret. My intonation is a little off because the intonation is set for the Dario extra heavy on on a uh, on a tailpiece. So I don't. I just wanted to get this out. With these particular strings. It was an experiment, and I'll put the strings in the description. The, uh, heavy. I think I got 52, or 58 sabres, and then somewhere around 31. I'll put it in in the description. Uh, rectified. And uh, so here's your here's your rest stroke. My hands behaving uh, uh, better today but than, than the last video. Uh, it changes. Uh, that guitar I couldn't play today, so I took the uh, armrest off and wrestled with it, stuck it on this guitar. I had to change the, you know, the metal and everything. But I, I couldn't get the other guitar to work today, so it's a funny thing. And usually I can't get this one to work. Or at least I was having difficulty. Yeah, it's, it's a little longer. I got to set for the Daddario's, not for these strings. I don't want to mess with it. That's another bit. Uh, Ray would always say, go ahead and grab it. Well, this is good, you see how I tune too. The capo is, is a real hassle. That's why the, the restigo is a little better, because that capo is just such a hassle. Especially if you're trying to intonate each fret. I got these this reversed because the other one broke and I just, I just never got new ones. I had the Grover's on a uh, Contreras uh, 1A special and uh, I had to uh, put them on. It had an ebony bridge and I used that for decades. Uh, I used to use that uh, Iron Quiz Gold uh, 700, very light, and then the uh, red uh, Savarez. And that guitar would just sing forever with those groves on there. I didn't know any difference. Uh, I've been trying to tune. So within two years when I got that guitar, I, I, I wore out the uh, uh, posteras, posters, whatever they're called. I'm sorry. Uh, please uh, forgive me for uh, getting the name wrong on the uh, tuning page, uh, magnificent tuning page. I got them on the treble. I tried this with the... Uh, Grove was on the treble and it just didn't work on this guitar. So I put the uh, originals back on. And these, I'm experimenting, but they sound great with, with the uh, Corum. For God's sake, they just sound magnificent with the uh, Sabres Corum. All the other strings don't really, uh, I can't really see, see that uh, they really change that much, but the Corums, wow. That's really a good match. That's why I can't stand the capo. Okay, the other thing. And you see how difficult it is. Also, I got to choose what song I'm playing. I was going to play number five, 
and then I went back to store number one is different tunings. I'm going to go back to tuning it for number five. I've got to redo it now. Well, that really went up to out of space. it with the strings and then I have to match it with my skills on the right hand and uh, my skills on the right hand are changing uh, like I said uh, month by month I'm getting more strength in my right hand which means I can then uh, get the strings higher so it's a whole you know I usually do it uh, on the saddle so it's a whole rigmarole to uh, redo that saddle I'm using uh, borax and crazy glue it's a whole rigmarole. I can't play it. I don't have the skills to play the play it, but I got the skills to show you the balance, how I'm balancing. My right hand is starting to get tensed up again. I've been playing about an hour. Okay, Here, here's your uh, number five, and, and here's your balance. Here's your, you see where I'm going there? I've got my rest stroke, and I've got the thumb. It's always got to be simultaneous. Thumb works in, in a circular motion. The fingers are touching. The fingers are touching on this hand. They're, they're, they're kind of making a, a pathway to the brain and they're talking to each other. The left hand and the right hand are talking to each other and finding the balance. If I have the balance wrong on the left hand, then the balance is wrong on the right hand and uh, versa vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah, my hand, right hand, is off. It hurts. What? So that's what I'm doing. I'm starting from scratch, completely from scratch. So I'm also watching the screen as I'm playing. That's a whole that's a whole different thing too. So I'm not gonna watch the screen anymore. I'm just going to uh, uh, get the uh, the lesson. Okay, so here we go. The lesson is a balance. The lesson is I can't play the piece as a concert piece because I still have the balance. If I try to play it like a concert piece, well then my hand position is is not going to be ready. I don't have that fundamental together. That fundamental is not perfected. Because that fundamental, my screen went, so I'm hoping this is going. So because my fundamental has dissipated, uh, then I'm playing wrong. If I do that for 10 years, well, I just wasted 10 years. 
Okay, so I'm going to play it like a, try to play it like a concert piece and show you that uh, what happens. <laughs> Attempt to play it. I'm getting all tensed up because I know that third finger's got to find a balance. I can't, I can't even come close. So here it is, finding the balance. And then you got the right hand. I'm just doing it in time. Try to think of the guitar as a drum. I mean, you could, you could always do, you know, I can do the... Uh, you can always do the phrasing. That's a whole nother lesson. But this is for, the purpose of this is to get you to understand how to get the balance. So to get the balance, what you do is you get the rhythm. You find what speed you could play something to get a balance. And I'm usually on a computer with documentaries. All this, uh, uh, it makes you mad because you just watch one thing, you get mad. Watch another thing, you get mad. But I just, I, I want to know as much knowledge as I can before it's all gone. So. Yeah, my right hand's acted up. Uh, in other words, when uh, I'm watching the, the computer, you got to watch out, you're going to get carpal tunnel syndrome. I've been finding that out. you got to sit a certain way. It's got to be relaxed. So mm -hmm. that could be doing it. Uh, here we go. I'm going to go slow. Yeah, my right hand. 